Todd and Copper have been very special friends ever since the day they first met. Yes, they have been always very nice to each other ever since the day they first met. But then, one day, Copper came to tell Todd that Amos Slade was training him how to be a real hound. Todd was a little confused at first. Todd wanted to do something with the large hound, but then... It was Chief! It was Chief! Todd ran for his life. They'll get them next time. That cursed fox. Although Todd got away, he have learned that not all humans are always nice to animals. He was about to be kidnapped. But then, Robin of Luxley raced to his son's rescue. Be careful, my friend. Tom was safe. The forest looks different now. Poor little Todd was dismayed. He felt like he was separated from his parents. But then... Marion found him. The months passed. Little Todd grew from a small fox kit to a full-grown hunk of a fox. Sometime after Todd grew up, he finds copper. The fox and the hound are really very happy to see each other again. They never seen each other again ever since the day Robin and Marion rescued Todd. Suddenly, from out of nowhere, 
I get a visit from the ghost of Scar. He came to warn Todd and Copper about danger. After the ghost left, Todd and Copper believed that Scar must be joking with them. Todd was being arrogant and selfish. Just then, it was Chief. Todd ran. There goes Chief. Todd felt like he got even with him. When the hunter and the animals heard what happened, Copper gets a visit from the Pride. They told Copper that they wanted to give Todd this inside their cardboard box for the Zeo Crystal. Todd reluctantly take the Zeo Crystal with him, and Copper sadly agreed with him to let everything else go. Copper was like, would he ever see his best friend again? Todd says accidents happen. Good luck, Todd. Farewell, dear friend. One day, two secret agents from a mysterious faraway land arrived into the Enchanted Forest. The young vixen's name was Vixie, and her sidekick was a wolf named Alu. They introduced themselves to the pride and the animals of the forest. They told them that they were looking for a new home. And they're also on a quest for something really important. Vixie told the Pride that she was planning on preventing her wicked uncle, Foulfellow, from taking over the Enchanted Forest. Papa was having a wonderful time taking a ride in a minecart with, well, his new friend, a young Pegasus named Flash Sentry. <laughs> well, the Pegasus was curious about this ship. Uh oh, the putties! Alfellow, the fox, have sent the putties to attack the animals. Now he's off to try and find the zeal crystal.
Fixie and Alu came to the rescue. Foulfellow retreated. Meanwhile, at Cantina, Fixie introduced herself to Todd. Alu introduced herself to Copper. Copper thanked Alu for saving him from the putties. Feline told Todd and Copper that this is the beginning of a very beautiful friendship. Not to mention, Bixie and Alu have a crush on the both of them. Bambi, you are my best friend. <laughs>